have to move in. Do not wait for the ball. And absolutely do not go backwards to hit a volley. And the last thing on...
Intermediate advanced volley summary. Okay, this is going to answer most of the questions you had while you're watching the video. The first thing is no, you do not stand on the service line the entire time. I like warming up on the service line because it stops the player from hitting down on the ball and it gives you the opportunity to step in and move forward when you get those short balls. If you're too close to the net, not only do you get in the habit of hitting down, but you don't get the opportunity to step in because you'll be way too close to the ball. Every time you hit a volley, you got to be going forward. Your weight's got to be going forward. So a warm up on the service line is good just to get the quick hands and the technique going. And then immediately after that, start moving in and then start throwing in different type of balls, uh, like the slow ones to get the player to move in. Uh, if you notice in this video, one of the things Caden was kind of struggling with was short selection or ball recognition. He didn't know which balls to kind of step in or move in on, and uh, that's a big thing that we need to work on. If you get a slow, high ball, you definitely have to move in. Do not wait for the ball, and absolutely do not go backwards to hit a volley. And the last thing on the high, slow balls on your back end, just to generate a little bit more power, if it's slow enough, you gotta turn completely sideways and take a somewhat big backswing on your back and volleys. And that's it. And the last bit was just me playing golf and um, hitting some lobs. And I like doing that drill. It kind of mixes what I like doing and we both have fun. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>